Welcome back from the bench, everybody's always Zarek, and here we are back with my final box out of the first six that I personally bought, and it is 2022-2023 Series 1, and all I gotta say is, so far, so good. Uh, last box, probably being the best box out of all of them, so if you haven't yet, go check that video out. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Um, it's... It's a fun, it's a fun time to a product. Uh, when you have one that's, for me, even without the, you know, the good hits I've obviously been fortunate enough to have, um, it's just, it's a good product, it seems like. But again, I've been saying it multiple times throughout this whole, like, little mini-series here of the six boxes I've personally bought and now opened with this being the sixth one. And then the one I opened on the second video of the series uh, that was actually provided to me by a buddy of mine. Um, again, it's just, it's been a, I'm, I have no problem trashing Upper Deck if need be, but it, it's actually been pretty good. The inserts are nice, the cards itself. Um, once again, just kind of a little review. They kind of have like a little, I don't know, different look to them. Uh, the font could be bigger. So it's the only thing that I've heard from people. They said, like, is that like a size eight font? I think it's one of the questions, one of the comments I had on one of the videos I did. But uh, there you go, Mario Ferraro. And starting it off with a defense mechanism. And this is Moritz Sider. So starting off with series two from last year's big chase, uh, Moritz Sider. Getting his defense mechanism in his sophomore year. So, uh, for me personally, the big young guns I haven't hit yet. I haven't hit the Kent Johnson base young gun. I have hit the canvas, so that I've been fortunate there. Jack Quinn, I guess, for the Buffalo Sabres is the only one I I haven't hit yet. Um, Cam Fowler, and this is Nico Dawes in the rookie retrospective. So people obviously are high on Nico Dawes because I've seen him a couple times in here now. Uh, saw he's got a base card in here too, so they must be decently high on Nico Dawes overall. We got uh, Chandler Stevenson, Matt Zuccarello, Anton Lundell, second year, Kerfoot, and Jason Robertson in the honor roll. Uh, Ronick, Hagel, and Gensel. So. Yeah, it's inserts are all pretty good. Like I said, I think the honor roll is like the one I like the least. It's just kind of a little bland, but that's fine. Um, but some of them have been really nice this year. TJ Oshi, uh, Justin Falk, and Canvas. This one's going to be Jake Gensel, so this is actually a double for me. So we got Jake Gensel on the Canvas. You got Sid there. You got uh, Russ there. Kale. Um, Appleton and a Formanton. So, yeah. Let's see if we can, like I said, I've got no complaints at all through my boxes, even my buddy's box. Uh, he was fortunate enough to hit a Boldy. So, essentially, the biggest card you can hit. Um, here we go. Starting off for the Columbus Blue Jackets. This is this is what he's he's gonna be this all year. Uh, Trey Fix Wolanowski. So I've pulled his uh, base young gun now twice, and I also pulled his clear cut young gun. So, but every time, I keep on thinking, is it finally gonna be Kent Johnson? Not the case. We got Trey Man kicking it in here. Um, That's funny. That's just funny. Come on. Some of the packs I find they have like this the inner film gets stuck. So you just pull it down. That still catches a little bit. There you go. Open from that side. Just a little thing to remi reminder so you don't catch your corners. Dylan Strom and next young gun is going to be for the Blue Jackets, the right winger, 
Carson Meyer. <laughs> the double troll. Carson Meyer and the... Oh, my God. Trey and Carson just, just trolling me over here with the double back-to-back -back Blue Jackets young guns that aren't Kent Johnson. Uh, Neil Pioink, Jared McCann, Jacob Truba, and Robert Thomas in the honor roll. So starting to see some doubles here on some of the inserts, which is fine. Honor roll, I think you're going to get two or three per box. Same with your canvases, same with all that stuff, right? So... Uh, Anthony Stolarz, Tanner Janot, Victor Arvidsson. Next young gun is for the Ducks, Jacob Perot. So I feel like I've already had this box. I don't know if this is going to be the same as one of the boxes I already had. Obviously, you can get different inserts, everything else. But I know I've pulled all three of those guys already. I don't know if it was in the same video, but I know I've hit all three of those. Already, uh, Mateus Eklund, Jeff Carter, Johnny Hockey, Carter Verhage. I think that's probably one of the coolest, cooler pictures in the set. And then we got a Brady Kachuk in the Blue Dazzler. So there we go. With a Severson, Priest Uter, and an EJ to finish that pack off. So I am recording all of these on like. Uh, release day uh, so if you're like hey why aren't you talking about some of the games or something that happened oh there we go Leon Dreisaitl in the center of attention Could be a little more orange I guess but that's still a good looking card I like I'm a big fan of that one I think it's just a nice insert um, because I'm yeah, I usually like to talk about the games and stuff but I open all this stuff when I get a new release and I buy kind of multiple boxes of it um i like to rip it all at the same time because i have it and because on release day the product's never worth more than the first day it comes out so um you know for the most part right so i could take the chance that some of these guys are going to become bigger and better things and you can end up like a kalen addison and triple quadruple your pro you know your price um but it's easier just to sell it now and take your profits uh it's going for the red wings chase pearson man we are getting all the lower end young guns here to finish off this six box break. I'm sure there's people yelling at the thing. Hey, Eric, no complaining. You've done better than, you know, with three of your boxes than I have with, you know, a case. That's fine. I'll be quiet. That's try to just try to understand that I've been pretty fortunate this, <laughs> at this point. Uh, Oh, there we go. French variant of Drew Doughty. What a what a character that guy is. Apparently, they always say like on like spitting chicklets and stuff. Like they're gonna get him on like once he retires, but apparently he's just like a wild animal from everything I've heard and seen and stuff. Apparently, he's just got like stories for days. Um, Trevor Moore, Milan Lucic. Another one of the defense mechanism. This is a John Carlson. Making sure my recording's still going. Started off this in the, the best possible way, you know, with uh, my audio not working uh, for the first video in, you know, classic bench fashion. I do how many videos, my mic always works. Uh, and then all of a sudden I turn around and mic doesn't work for this. Getting a Young Guns canvas, I think. Yep, that's what it is. Young Guns canvas of... <laughs> Carson Meyer. The triple Blue Jackets teaser box. Who packed this box? <laughs> Give me two Carson Myers and a tray. Uh, and no Kent Johnson still for the base. Uh, Anthony Sorelli, Arton Zub, Sean Corrali, Daniel Sprong, and a portrait of Freddie Anderson. So I think this is looking pretty similar to another box I had. 
think, I think, I think. Uh, also, should be other videos on here. Uh, like I said, if you want to go back, if you, this is your first time seeing this channel, if you want to go back and look at a bunch, uh, there's six other boxes of this being open. I'm also, and maybe you would have seen this, possibly it would be a video on here. There's some for card shows, PSA reveals, all that other stuff. Um, but there's a potential that I also took one uh, small little video for my local hobby shop. Uh, they did an in-person break. I think I might try to record some of that, but we'll we'll wait and see. Uh, I guess you guys would have seen before I have if you're a long time subscriber. So debut dates of Spencer Knight. It's feeling very similar to another box I opened. I know I pulled like pretty much all these cards already. The Freddy, the John, all of it. Uh, Kevin Hayes, Lawson Kraus, Sorokin, Joel Farabee, and oh, black. Is it black young guns? Black young guns. There we go. I kind of like this. I did like a black and white one this time. Kind of a different look, but I, I, I kind of like it. <laughs> An Isaac Ratcliffe in the black young guns canvas. So first Young Guns canvas, that's the black, the new style, black, uh, new black style. It's black and white. I, I guess we'll put them up. Isaac Ratcliffe is the man. See how old he is? Six, oh yeah, big, tall, like 23 years old. It's not that old. There you go. Isaac Ratcliffe, put him up there in front of Matt Boldy and Owen Power. We got five, six packs left. Six packs, seven packs with this one, I think. Got a portraits here. This one's gonna be Trevor Zegris. Look at the flow on that kid. Just imagine being him, 20 some years old, living on the beach down in Anaheim, California. Just being a face of the league. Kid's probably having a pretty good time. Uh, we got a pink dazzler here, so pink's a little bit more of a short print, and it's gonna be Jeff Carter. So I've even pulled the Jeff Carter blue, uh, but here we go, Jeff Carter in the pink. Looks a little dull to me. Could be more of like a bang in your face kind of pink, but more of a, a little bit of a duller pink. But we're just. We're splitting hairs now, as they say. Matt Grizzlick, checklist, Tyler Myers. And, oh, there we go. I'm like looking at the next one. Uh, center of attention for a Braden Point. Yeah, I've had this box before. I know I pulled the Braden Point, which is odd. Maybe, maybe my six boxes came from like different cases or something. Because I had my six, they were all set aside for me, and then my buddy had, um, he had a seventh box that he, they also had kind of separate from mine. So, maybe they came from different cases, and we're getting just a weird luck. Drew Doughty, and Young Gun for the Minnesota Wild. I take it all back. I take it all back. Matt Boldy. We've now pulled out of seven boxes. Three Matt Boldy's regular Young Guns. And then the one Young Guns canvas that you see in the back drop. So I pulled four Matt Boldies out of seven hobby boxes. That is not the odds you're supposed to hit a map, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. I'm tying it right now. Um, hey, if somebody's going to follow me around, I have zero issues with being the top hit out of all of them. You know, back to back to back goalies. It's kind of odd. Um, this is just, 
I'm sorry for everybody else that has to watch this and go, how the heck? I had that last time. When I did the six boxes of Series 2 for last year, I had people going to my, the local hobby shop and being like, he did better with six boxes than I did on an entire case. And I think I, a lot of people would still say that in this one. Um, like, personally, I've pulled three... I've pulled three boldies now for myself. Two bays and then a regular Young Guns. The other boldie was for my buddy. But, yeah. Uh, Tevu Teravainen in the canvas. I know I pulled his canvas already, too. So, a lot of this seems like it's the same. Uh, Sharon Govich, next young gun up. We got Gabe. And then for the Flyers, a right winger. Linus Sandin. Got the cage on. The old plastic cage. My brother rocked one of those in, when he played uh, hockey back in the day. He played forward and he rocked the, the fancy plastic cage instead of the, the metal one. What we got here, last pack. Thank you all for all. It's been good. It's obviously I've, I've had stupid luck with this stuff. Okay. I just want to put that out there. This is not how it's supposed to go. This is not how it usually goes. Uh, I've had very stupid luck with this stuff, but Appreciate every one of you guys uh, taking the chance to tune in. If you like, subscribe. Uh, let me know what your biggest hit, if you've opened any of this stuff, is. Let me know if, what uh, what you guys hit. I always like to hear that kind of stuff anyways. Like, hey, Eric, I actually hit an exclusive of Beneers, or if you hit an exclusive of Isaac Ratcliffe, or whatever it is, let me know what your best hit so far has been. So, uh, Clayton Keller, Connor McDavid, Alex DeBrincat, and last but not least... Jeff Skinner. So that's actually the first time I've seen this one, I'm pretty sure. Jeff Skinner in the regular canvas with a Craig Smith, Wayne Simmons, and a Mark Stone. So overall, even this one, I can't really complain, uh, obviously because of the Matt Boldy. But even then, like I did um, the canvas of Carson Meyer, which is kind of just funny at this point. Um, and then I had the black canvas of Isaac Radcliffe. So even though it's not a crazy name, Sorry for that. Um, even though he's not a crazy name, a black Young Guns canvas, it's probably 20, 25 bucks, right? Maybe 30 bucks Canadian. I have no idea right now. Um, prices are going to be fluctuating all over the place. I know the Boldy itself, um, I'm going to, once again, the reason why I opened all this stuff early is to try to get the most money possible uh, back for this. Um, so, like, Boldy started off at like 160 uh, Canadian around there right that 150 160 range um in the first day and then i went at the time of this recording i'll put underneath me what the last couple have sold for um but i'm assuming they're probably closer to that like 100 range right maybe 110 15 so it, like not that crazy high like i said you're it's quite the drop after the first uh couple days so um, once again, hopefully everyone enjoyed this. Uh, like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram if you haven't yet. And for Eric from the bench, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.